So here we have the uh, three cell uh, protection board that uh, I showed in a, in a recent uh, video uh, with the, the wiring explained. Now when I was researching that video I came across some information um, that said that this could be upgraded or modded or hacked somebody at the door to uh, to go from a three cell to a four cell. Now clearly uh, there are four FETs so uh, that part of the circuitry uh, is certainly in, in place and it was explained on uh, on various sort of websites that all you need to do is to change some components down in this area here and you should be good to go but will it actually work? I've looked on the on the web and at the spec sheet so I know what components it is to, to change here and I'll show you that the websites that show this modification never seem to show it actually charging any cells or, or, or protecting any cells. So the, there is some debate as to whether this actually will work. And uh, indeed on, uh, on one of the websites, in fact the website where I purchased this device, there was a, a comment from somebody saying this will definitely not work because there are components missing here and also up here. Uh, but I think that's a, a red herring, and the only way to find out is to mod this board and and, uh, and and prove it one way or the other. So here we can see a close-up of the area of the circuit board that's of interest to us, and we can see this is the the three cell configuration with the the high cell and the medium cell, and low was not used. That is reserved for the four cells. And if we follow that track back, it goes to a one k resistor and then off to its sense pin. So that is all good, um, but what also happens is that it comes down here to this zero ohm resistor, which is effectively grounding it. So we need to remove that component. The other part of the puzzle is that the select pin, uh, pin 9, uh, goes down to both of these two pads here, I found out subsequently. So all we need to do is to move this 1K resistor from this pad over to its neighbor there. And if you look at uh, close-ups of the four-cell uh, board on, online, you'll see that's clearly the, the case. There's no component here, and this 1K resistor is across that connection there. So we'll get those mods done, wired up, and test it. So here we are set up with the test configuration with the power meter at the top. And as you can see, uh, the input voltage is now 16.8, so that's four times 4.2. And obviously at the moment uh, the thing is, is unplugged, so no current flowing, just showing you the input voltage there. Now with the cells uh, wired pretty much as before in my uh, original video, if we take a look uh, from the battery negative, then obviously we've got the first cell here showing 3.9, then the second cell nearly 8, third cell 11.9 and finally 15.98. So now uh, with the modified circuit in uh, as before we had the, the high, medium and low if you will. So if I probe on the top can see that these are attached to those points on the on the battery circuit. So um, it's time for the, the moment of, of truth. I'll just um, power off the the supply there and show you if I connect up the the load as it were. see now our 15.9 volts that we've just measured from the from the cells and now if I switch on the 16.8 we can see that uh, it is now charging 0.5 amps we can see on the on the display there and it's obviously going to gradually climb up to the 16.8 volts um, the three cells that I put in there before were are fully charged so there's only one cell which is a little bit low hence the the current falling off there but uh, 
we'll leave this um, as we did before until the um, current drops to zero and then we'll measure, measure the voltages again. So here we are at the end of the charge and we can see the current has dropped to zero and it's put in just over one amp, one amp per hour. Uh, so the question is, has the circuit disconnected um, charging as detected by the, the battery management board or is there no current simply because the voltages are now equal? So we can test this if we measure the, the battery voltage. We can see that that's 16.88 and if we measure the input voltage at 17.04. So the circuit has actually disconnected the, the, the charge which is exactly as we wanted. So it proves that the modification of this board from a three cell board to a four cell board works.